Hey, by the way, you know what? I haven't tried this. I haven't tried broadcasting with a mask. Let me let me see how it how it sounds. We got to give this a try here. I'm carrying my trusty mask in case I'm arrested. But I don't know why that'll help. I don't even know how to put it on. Okay, here we go. Nope. You should see the living martyrs look right now. All right, everybody. How do I sound? I sound almost normal. Is it clear? Of course, I can't see anything because my glasses are now fogged. How do people with glasses uh, handle this? Look, look at my glasses. I, they need windshield wipers. Now that, all right, that's over. The experiment is over. Uh, that would be, what are my glasses? Oh, they're on. That would be a, uh, <laughs> I'm not used to wearing it. What, what was that? Oh, yes. That, what do you think of, here's an invention. People need to get a patent on it. Eyeglass windshield wipers. What do you think? Would you invest? If somebody, you know, you are now an entrepreneur, uh, uh, Alan. Oh, back to the show? Oh, he, he always does that. I can't, I can't. That, very good. Ipers, when, that's right. Glasses Ipers, E-Y-E-P-E-R-S. I want you to understand that two of the three people on this show are enjoying this. One, you two? That is why he's the living martyr. He is now suffering. Do you understand? I'm not joking. Alan Estrin is now suffering. We're cracking ourselves up over nonsense, and he is suffering. And I'm not happy he's suffering. I just want to make that clear. There's no schadenfreude. No, not even an eensy teensy bit. No. I'm only explaining why he's a living martyr. I actually feel for him in this regard.